Some people beg, Lord, help thy mind unbelief, and they never can believe. Does the Apostle Paul say no man can call Jesus Lord except by the Spirit of God? And Jesus, when Peter said, I thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, Peter, uh, Jesus said, Flesh and blood hath not revealed this to thee, but my Father which is in heaven, meaning the Holy Spirit. So, why do some people have to fake it until they make it? Aaron Raw, atheist Aaron Raw, was talking to a friend of his who used to be a fellow evolutionist. He got saved. When well, Aaron Raw was presenting the evidence that for him for evolution, he said the guys got glassy eyed, like he was treading mantras to keep from uh, not believing what he believed in, in Jesus. Why is that so? If the Holy Spirit is the one who makes us able to believe, why do you have to chant mantras? Why do you have to make yourself believe it if it, the Holy Spirit is the one who gets you to believe? Why do you have to fake it till you make it if it's truly the Spirit of God? The answer I got, and I, I hope this was from an answer from God. I, instead of my mind just working these things out, my own instead of my own mind working things out, I hope it was, it was an answer from God because that means he's not forsaken me utterly. Maybe he still loves me. But when man turned this world over to the devil, it is providing there is was an Adam and Eve. When this world fell into the hands of the devil, God gave it all over to the law of the jungle, law of chance and average. God gave it over to mankind. Who in turn uh, he gave it up to the devil. So it, it, instead of being in God's hands, it's now in our hands. It's now in the devil's hands. But God still own but God, when he comes and to claim the world back, he does not do it forcefully. He does so gently, by persuasion, by leading you to where he wants to be. By inviting you. Some people have he has to lead to the point where they can actually believe in what the Bible says about Jesus, and then he invites them. He works in their heart. Maybe the Holy Spirit gives you the bent for us believing in the Bible, and that Jesus is the Son of God. And this precious bent comes from God, but it can, it can, it can be drowned out by the sounds of science, logic, but if you're truly born in God, it should be there forever. It should never leave you. No, if God doesn't force you to believe, He leads you to believe. He invites you to believe. He gives you just enough of uh, uh, that nudging for the Holy Spirit to be able to believe the Bible without forcing you to believe it. But is this the truth? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, are you really real? Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, are you really true? That uh, I've seen so much things that, that uh, debunking, tearing down the birth narrative stories that you were born in Bethlehem, the start and the end of this. Jesus, are you really real, or are we being taken for a ride? Is Jesus Christ and Christianity really real, or is it the greatest hope ever, hopes ever perpetrated upon mankind? Is Jesus Christ and Christianity? Real? Is Christianity the, the one and a uh, hundred chin, 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 chin shot and, and trying to delve into what's wrong with mankind and coming up with an answer that satisfies? Jesus, are you really real? I, I'm having trouble even asking him this. Jesus, are you really real? 